Hey there, Sam from giantpumpkins.co.nz. How's it going? I hope whatever you're doing in the lead up to Christmas, it's going well. So for the Northern Hemisphere growers, you're probably dealing with some cold. I hope it's not too bad at this time of the year. You're probably looking into seeds that you want to get. You're looking at seed auctions coming up. You're talking to other people, probably thinking about what you're going to do in the patch next year. We'd lo love to hear from you what you're going to do. You're probably just hurrying up and waiting for the new season to start. I get you. I, I know what that's like. But here in the Southern Hemisphere, we're into the pumpkin growing season. So for us, we've had um, pretty high heats already, pretty warm, making sure the vine's growing out now. Pollination will be happening soon for some growers and a little bit later for others, so that's exciting. Last week, uh, I was in Christchurch for a little bit. I'm going to show you a little bit of the city, a little bit of the stuff that I saw. Another super hot day here in uh, Christchurch. And for those who don't know, Christchurch had a big earthquake in 2011, 185 people died and it pretty much destroyed a city. So all this behind me used to be houses. Actually that's a street as well, now it's just nothing. Um, it's just mind blowing. So you see bits and pieces of the construction happening in town, but in the suburbs you're going to see things like this. It's super, super hot. I think it's going to reach 30 degrees. It might be a bit more today. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and um, we might be there. I'm not sure. I'm going to take you for a walk around Christchurch. There's a lot of art installations at the moment, a lot of street art. It's really cool. And um, I've just stopped. This is called 185 Empty Chairs. It's a temporary art installation reflecting the loss of lives from the earthquake in 2011. 185 people died, so it's pretty... Uh, uh, striking when you think about it. The other thing, um, one of the things that got destroyed in the earthquake was the big cathedral. We had this amazing cathedral and the, um, I can't think of the correct word for it but I'll get it in a second. Anyway that's behind me there. It's basically made up of uh, giant cardboard tubes so uh, let's go check that out. Okay so here we are outside the Christchurch Transitional Cathedral. It's a pretty cool setup. You can see there's the tubes. Currently in Cathedral Square, uh, John Robert Godley is the uh, founder of Canterbury. And there he is. One of the art installations here is the Dantomatic. Um, Dantomat. Put some money in this washing machine here and then you can uh, do some dancing on this mat with the big speakers behind me. So pretty cool. You're not going to see me bust out my move, sorry. There we go, there's a bit of Christchurch for you to see. Um, there's all sorts of bits and pieces here and you don't know where some of it's gonna be hidden inside of buildings. Um, I'd love to show you more, but I'm not gonna lie, it's super hot. I gotta rehydrate like crazy and I gotta start getting my stuff sorted because I'm on my way back to Hamilton later this evening. As for my patch, well, I hooked up the irrigation system. I got that free one that I won, if you remember last episode and it was okay but occasionally it would blow out so I had to make sure that I got a whole bunch of the clamps which I did and even then one of them still blew out so more clamps everything seems to be good and it watered quite well when I was away uh, the time is really good I quite like it and the plants going well it's probably the best looking plant I've ever grown in the world's smallest giant pumpkin patch I'm liking how it looks I'm um, just making sure the vines go where I want them to. I've buried a bunch of vines and I've got a random blue bin of other things growing. 
uh, pumpkin related. Not 100% sure, it's sort of the bin I was chucking uh, the leftovers from cut pumpkins or rotten pumpkins. So I think there's a mixture in there and we'll see how that goes. I've still got to plant out a bunch of miniatures all over the place, um, so they'll be probably next couple of days. And hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll be catching up with Tim and seeing what he's doing and seeing how the new pot method that he is trying is working. So that's the update for this vlog. Thanks for checking it out. Make sure to come say hi on all the places, either on the website, the Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter. Until next time, I'm Sam. Hope everything goes well, and uh, I'll see you next episode. See ya.